shouldn't be pointing to the screen. The city is taking new steps toward more changes for the Roxbury Commercial and Transportation Center at W Square. Officials plan to use the square as a new home for city agencies, and they want to build a new police station along with making renovations to the branch library. To help make the plans, the city recently held competition for designs. There were four winners. Joining us tonight are the winners for the best buildings. We'd like to welcome Gregory Minot and Snehal Intwala. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you for having us. I, I want to start with Gregory Minot. Uh, I, I just mentioned what the officials wanted, but part of your job here was to hear what people in the neighborhood wanted. Well, what did they tell you? Um, well, the community expressed several things to us, um, and the feedback that we got and what we sort of wrapped the, the design around were three main needs. The first one was primarily to have open space where they could interact and gather socially. Um, the second was to have um, cultural space and also a new front door for their library. And the third one was mainly to have a more pedestrian-friendly environment and um, ease of use for the T station and to the congestion, to lessen the congestion on Dudley Street. Well, maybe we can bring up some of the drawings and uh, maybe starting with Snehal and Tuala, we can explain a little bit how you tried to, sure. to deliver on those uh, requests. And this is, is this the library here? This is the main entrance of the library, the new renovated entrance. It is more open, more open to the public, uh, more glassy, where the children and the community can gather more safely and be, it's more vibrant space to learn and gather. And that's something that's going to be lit up at night, at least a little bit, so yes, you know something's indeed, going on there. Indeed, yes. yeah. Maybe have the next, and this is... Um, this would be the plaza space between the office building and the community on the left. To the right. Is this where the current police station is right now? Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. And this is the view from the, more or less from the bus shelter side of Delhi that, Street. That's correct. That's yes. a bird's eye view shot of the building. On the right is the office building and the community. As you can see, the, the liveliness that we try to generate, the, the energy that existed there, which we realized, and then we just want, we try to attempt to bring that back, having more greenscape, more lesser traffic in terms of, and the plaza itself is uh, another escape within the site. Things also seem to be, all right, and this is, this is the new street layout, and uh, this is the, there is a new street in this, I think, Greg, Gregor, maybe you can yes. explain what, what was the thinking behind that. Um, the new street uh, connects Washington and Warren Street, and in effect, what we were trying to do was to provide access to parking, structured parking, um, providing 288 cars to the site, um, as well as to create a bypass away from the, um, sorry, away from Dudley Street to sort of lessen the congestion that's currently there. So instead of staying on Washington and, and, and almost going as far as the bus shelter and sort of feeding into that squeeze there, I guess they would be diverting and then coming into Warren Street and then continuing down Washington? That's correct. Yes. And what, what would be the advantage of that? Well, the advantage was is that not everyone that is traveling the area is going to want to stop along retail along Dudley. Um, some people are wanting to go along onto new Dudley Street and would like to get there quickly. <laughs> and because we have so many buses coming out of that um, bus depot, we figured if we at least provide an alternative route, it should ease the traffic congestion. I guess one thing that's supposed to be happening around here is you've got a couple of the city agencies, one of them fairly large, the school department coming to Dudley Square. There's a lot of people who are going to be coming in there. Uh, some of them are still going to be driving. Uh, can you really cram all that in? We, did, we created a couple of parking. There's a parking garage embedded three levels under the office building itself. And on the west of the courtyard, courthouse rather, there was a very uninvited space. What we did was create a greenscape and hit a parking structure below so all the commuter traffic can utilize this parking structures and then utilize the extended version of the silver line that is coming in the future. Turning back to a great reminder, some of the uh, cultural space you, you mentioned because today Dudley Square is a place where you, you largely go there to get on buses or you've got some business to do but you don't really spend time there. How will that ability to spend time 
change the square, you think? Um, I think it would change it in several ways. Um, right now, there is a lot of arts and culture within the square, and most of it is tucked away um, behind closed doors. Some of it is in the library, not really visible to the public. Or Hibernian Hall. Or, or Hibernian Hall. And I think um, by providing gallery space and um, arts and culture space that's visible to the public as people pass on the sidewalk, I think people start to realize that there is there's the people, the, the creativity of the people there and the diversity that exists within Roxbury. And what about the safety? Because if you've got all these people in the neighborhood, they're on legitimate business. They really take over the square. They make it, they really claim it for the neighborhood. Yes. So, I'm sorry, what? It, it seems that this is the way to, that once you've got people out in the square, yeah. it, it becomes recognizably the place where people are going to feel at home. As exactly. Opposed to just, right. Yeah. right. Instead right. of a, a desolate place, but a place that's vibrant and people have invested um, a lot into the community and it, they can take pride in their square. So, Hal, it, well, uh, um, if you take that quality, um, what do you think the consequences might be for economic development, which could have, I mean, of course, it's the definitely jobs. going to benefit the, the area, the local the community, the, the businesses, the small businesses that are there will benefit the more people that come to the site and enjoy the amenities that are provided with the newer plan, it is definitely going to benefit in gen uh, to the city of Boston and the Roxbury itself. By the way, do you ever fear that um, there could be a gentrification boomerang, that, that some of those businesses that have been there in hard times, might, uh, they might not survive some of these improvements? Or think, um, uh, I think, and the, the community did express that at um, the community sh charrette. And the things that we're trying to do, for example, the community building, is um, we're, we're proposing that there will be adult and youth education there'd be um, designated space for small businesses, small business startups, um, and there'd be skills set training and those sort of um, resources provided so that those um, shop owners would be able to take advantage of that in, you know, to build their businesses and to make it more economically viable. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. To the W Square design winners, Gregory Minot and Snehal Intwala. We'll be back in a moment after this message. HIV and AIDS is a crisis in Asia and the Pacific. And it's increasing among Asians and Pacific Islanders here in the United States. Support the loved ones in your life. Get tested for HIV. Learn how to strengthen your family tree by calling 1-866-5-BANYAN. The Banyan Tree Project, rooted in acceptance. Did you know that annual HIV rates are increasing?